kind of a test here. Um, I mean, obviously, the social distancing thing, and we're all trying to figure things out, and you're not in school, and I'm not at school, and you can't walk up to my desk and scream and yell at me. You can only do it through email. Kind of good for me, kind of bad for you. Okay, what are we going to do? Well, I need to know that you can actually do stuff. And if you can do this maze by doing your own code, well, you can do stuff. And then we can bump it up a level and go on to something that's a little bit more fun. Okay, here we go. So the, the challenges one, two, and three require us to be in the wall maze. So here we go. I want to show you how to get here. You start off in the, with the grid map. You know what? Let's just close this. Let's close this here. All right, we close that. This is where you start off. Straight up start off. A little bit of a reminder every time. The activities list is here. So if you click here, you get all the activities. And then we're going to be doing this one is letter maze. It's a movement thing. And it's, it's, it's a good one here. So this is the one that we're going to do. So let's click on here. So you can see kind of where we're coming from. This is a Google Doc. You have access to it. You can't edit it, but you have access to it. Um, I'm linking this in the echo file. Letter maze, letter maze. OK, so we need this playground here. And the playground is listed as wall maze. And there are three challenges. The first challenge, program your robot to move through the maze from start, this green square here, to finish the checkered square. Um, should be checkered white and red because that's how you finish races. Oh well. I hope you guys know how to do a maze. If you don't know how to do a maze, uh, come out under the rock that you've been buried in and you have to get from here to here and not cross any red lines. So here you go up, over, up, over, up, over, up, and go over this way, and then up, over, down, this way, up, turn, 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 and you're done. You have to tell the robot to do that. And your code is gonna tell the robot to do that. That's just challenge number one. Okay, challenge number two is, okay, how about we challenge, instead of just going from start to finish, Go through the maze, stop on each of the letters in alphabetical order, and then travel to finish. So letters, so we go A, here to B, back this way, up, over, up, over this, to C, then back down, here to D, then up, over, down, over, up, over, up, and then out. Okay? Okay. The VR robot should stop on each letter for two seconds. I'm going to be checking for that. Okay. All right. That's challenge two. Challenge three is try it in reverse. Start here at the checkered flag. Oh, never mind. No, let's, let's actually read what it says here. Try it in reverse. Program the VR robot to move from start to uh, D, C, B, A, and then back to finish. Either way, stop in each other for two seconds. If you can get this thing to work that well, you're going to prove to me that yes, you can do this. And no, I don't think it's busy work because the purpose of this is to get you really comfortable with movement coding of this robot. And then the next level that we're gonna do after this is gonna be starting to use sensors to actually tell the robot what to do. Okay, so let's get back to it here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this because I have it open. I have two computers running right now. You guys know me and my big computer screens. A huge computer screen up in front of me. You can't see it, but it's there. Okay, so here we go here. Now, what do we do? Where do we start? Well, level one, uh, I need to work on the playground wall maze. Well, playground, what's that? Take your mouse, see the mouse here, nice and big. Come over to Playground, here. See if I can make my, my cursor big, haha. <laughs> Click on Playground. Now the first Playground it, it lo is loading for me is the grid map. Um, if you've been on a different one, it might load a different one. You wanna change it, no big deal. Click Grid Map. 
and it opens a menu for you. Uh, now, it might look a little bit different for you because I'm doing this on my Mac at home, but it's, it's a website and all the options are going to be the same. So I need, let's see, wall maze. So choose this one and click on it. Give it a second to load. Do, 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 do. Loading. Loading. Okay, here we go. Um, I guess you can make this bigger. How do we do that? We hit the expand button. So if you want to make it bigger, you can hit the expand button and you can you can see it a little bit bigger. I think we'll do that when we go to test it. For right now, I'm going to shrink it, move it over here to the side. And I'm just using a, a click and drag. See the little four arrow cursor? Clicking and dragging this over here. Okay, so here's our code. When started. Now you can, this is wherever you can put this wherever you want to. This is just a code map. All right, what do I want to do? I want to just get from start to finish. So like last time, I'm going to work you through level one. Um, and there's there's multiple ways to do this, but it gives you a way to get, get going. Okay, so I need to get from start to finish here. Let's see, I need to go up one grid square. Now, if we remember that each grid square is 200 millimeters, simple. I pull this over click it to attach it, just get it close, and it want to drive forward for 200 millimeters. Now, I don't know how you guys do things, but I, when I code robots, I uh, code and then test, and then I code and then test, and then code and then test. Just how I do it. There's other ways to do it. So let's check it, code it, and it worked. He went forward 200 millimeters. Now, I'm not going to reset it, because I want to see I need to get him to the checkered flag, and I can't... Okay, um, I need him to turn left here. So, I could just put this guy here, turn left. And I need to go forward another grid square, so I'm going to pull this one over. So, I'm curious what's going to happen here. Uh, so, if I... Uh, Stop my code and hit start. I'm sure it's actually might not work. Let's see if it works or not. Oh, no, it doesn't work because I'm in a maze. So I do need to restart it. So let's go ahead and stop the code. Now, I don't know if you noticed that this guy started flashing. In fact, let's do that again so you can see that. Okay, the code is getting stuck here. It cannot drive forward. So this is the really actually first time I've seen that. That's really helpful. So let's stop. Let's reset. Notice that the reset button, let me see if I can make it big here, is this little refresh button that gets him back on the starting base. So let's start that again. Start, drive forward 200 meters. Okay, I had a problem. It did not turn left. So I'm not sure why it didn't turn left. So I didn't invent this program, so I don't know why it didn't work. So I'm going to get rid of turn left, and I'm just going to throw it out. Just click it and throw it out. I still want this one, and I still need it to turn left, and here, let me refresh this now. Um, I know how to make it turn left, because I've done it before, and it looks like there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Let's turn left did not seem to work for us, so let's turn to road, and, hmm. Maybe this one will work, all right? And I, guys, I'm just, this is me looking at this. I want to turn left for 90 degrees. Maybe that will help us. Okay, it's reset. We'll play it again. Oh, there we go. That worked. So turn left for 90 degrees worked for us. We uh, drove forward for another 200 millimeters. Uh, now we're in this grid square. So I need to turn again. So, you know, turn left. I want to see if uh, any one of these works. Set drive heading to zero degrees. Let's see if that works. Zero degrees is supposed to be straight up. And then I need to go forward for another 200 millimeters. Let's check this. Reset it and see if it works. Let's see, we're going forward, we turn. No, that one didn't work either. So we, we must be missing something here with this 
And I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay, so I know that turn whatever direction, right or left, seems to be working. So I'm just going to hold on to that. So in this case, instead of turning left, I need it to turn back right. Now remember that 90 degrees is one quarter of a of a circle. So if you if you look at a, a picture, north due north is zero, due south is 180, east is 90, west is 270 or something like that, and then back to 360 or zero. So that's where the degrees comes from. So 90 degrees is just one quarter of a circle. Let's reset this and see if I have any progress here. Up, over, and then up. Oh, 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 look at that. He's getting stuck. Well, he just didn't drive forward enough. And so what I'm going to do is say, how about go 220 millimeters? And, and what you're seeing me do here, hopefully, is just it's simple trial and error problem solving as you learn how the program works. That seems to, yep. That did it, but I'm, he's going to have trouble turning here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask him to go 250 millimeters. I'm going to do a quick reset, see if that works. Yeah, that's about, about where I want him to be, so I'm going to see if I can work a little bit ahead here. Um, what I want him to do is I want him to drive forward oh no let's see let's turn we need to turn left again okay and then i want him to drive forward but i have a feeling it's going to have to be just based off where he is here 300 millimeters and then i'm going to want him to turn again because once we get here i need to go up so yep that's turn right and then we'll drive forward for another, let's call it 250, just based off what we've done before. And then we're going to want him to turn, no, don't want that one. I want this one. I'm going to want him to turn left for 90 degrees and then drive forward a little bit, maybe 250. Okay, so sh sh that should get me to here. And then I want to turn, not right, but I want to turn left 90 degrees and go forward for another 200 or so. All right, I'm gonna take this whole thing and attach it here, reset it, see how that works. So I'll take a, a few more chunks at a time, see if I can go a little bit faster with my programming. There we go. Thankfully, this is flashing green to tell me where I am in my code. All right. Oh, barely. Oh. Oh, I told it to turn the wrong way. That's a problem. So I could just say turn right, and that will get me forward, I think, where I want to go. But I think I'm going to make this 250. Okay. I'm going to reset that. Then I'm going to hit play. See how this works for me. Once again, following where my code is here. I'm barely skimming the wall there. But yeah, that, that puts me where I, where I want it to go. Now, I'm not going to bore you guys with me trying to find the best way to, to write out the code to get it here, up, over, down, over, back, up, up, over. But you can do that. That's, that's and, and really, by the end of this assignment, if you're not really good and comfortable with writing code like this, well, you should be. Maybe you didn't do it. I'm not sure. OK, so I want you to look over here. There's some other stuff that we're going to manipulate in the future. If you wanted to really have fun with this, you could uh, now, we should have already used the pen. We did look at the pen. I could throw this in here at the top, move the pen down, and I want to set the pen color to black. I don't like black. There should be a purple option, but there's not. Okay, so we'll go with green. And, you know, here you can see where you've come and how you've done. So if I said 
So if the assignment was to draw, you could. So there you go, drawing the pen. Uh, so th there's other things that you can do here. Feel free, please experiment and see what's going on. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use all of this in the coming unit. And hopefully by the end, we can do some really cool stuff. Uh, but we're not there yet. Uh, and this is teaching you the concept of coding. Now on a real robotics with real robots with VEX, it's a lot more complicated than this. But this will teach you the ideas. And that's just as important because once you get the ideas, you combine them with a the theory and then you've got some really powerful robot stuff going on. Okay, guys, that's the end of this video today. Good luck with this assignment.